Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got something very exciting. Nice big bottle of, uh, it's a collaboration between Jester King in Texas and also Mikla from Denmark. It's a bottle of their Drinking the Sun Belt. And, um, as far as, as, I'm, as I'm aware, it's a, uh, a version of what um, Mikla did a, a really nice wheat beer called uh, Drinking the Sun and um, this time it's like a it's essentially a hopped up version of that but nice big bottle, really big fancy bottle I guess Chester King are one of those breweries that a lot of people are after um, Black Metal being the kind of really well known one so this is only 4.4% 4 it's a big hopped up wheat beer nice big bottle I'm a bit concerned this might be a bit lively oh it seems alright yeah I thought I'd better drink it relatively soon as I don't want those hops to drop out and it'd just be a regular kind of wheat beer. Anyway. So in the glass, this is clearing out a really nice kind of peachy, pale peachy kind of orange beer. Quite a big soapy head there. Um, the head pretty much wide but very soapy, very kind of like, kind of bubbly as you can see. Quite a lot of carbonation, well, actually really, yeah, really quite a lot of carbonation from that. As you'd hope for from a wheat beer, you want a bit of carbonation, you want to keep it nice and crisp and clean. Anyway, let's have a smell. Oh, it's got everything that you'd expect. It's got a, a load of those kind of, um, those soft banana sweets that you get, those little kind of foam bananas, cloves, fresh grass. But the back end's kind of sneaking through there, there's, um, there's a nice kind of sherbety lemon quality. Yeah, and I'd say that's all that's going on there. I mean, it is kind of like a, a really nice wheat beer, but with a bit more hot presence than you'd normally expect. Not as cloying, not as heavy, a bit more kind of uh, fresh and uh, spritzy. Oh yeah, it's lovely, that's lovely. It's a really nice kind of sweet sherbet going on. Anyway, cheers. In the mouth, that carbonation doesn't really kind of prevail as you'd expect from the appearance. It's really streaming from the bottom of the glass. Once again, a really kind of quality German wheat beer style beer. But those kind of stereotypical kind of banana, clove flavours uh, are a lot more brief than they would be in like a, uh, like a Schneider Weiss or something like that. I'd say this time there's a nice amount of kind of orange bitterness which is in the back end there. Once again what was um, kind of promised on the nose, that kind of sherbet equality, that sherbet, but this time sherbet lemons. But nice and fresh, crisp, clean. A little kind of um, zesty, grassy, herbal hop quality in there. Probably coming from some kind of noble hops, Herzbrucker, um, Sars, and it's something like that maybe. I don't know what it says on the bottle. It's got a load of writing. I'm not one for reading off of bottles, but yeah. Mm. Good amount of carbonation, as you just witnessed. But a lovely beer, a really lovely beer, and a really kind of wonderful label. It's one of those breweries that I've kind of longed to try. Obviously Black Metal is the kind of holy grail from this brewery but this is a real nice really quaffable summer ale. It's not quite summer but I'm sat next to a radiator it's quite hot so for me at this very moment it's quite summery. So yeah so to wrap up that is a bottle of Mikula and Jester Kings uh, drinking the Sun Belt, 4% ABV, hoppy wheat beer, and it's a really, really nice beer. I'm not going to have any problems sipping this. I'm quite glad it's the kind of beer that you want a bit more of. Some of what you want to kind of spend a bit more time and enjoy, but also quench your thirst and really kind of like get into. Anyway, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers.